Hi again. Let's continue talking about parse here. And uh, in the last video, I set up a file upload. So now my post form allows you to you know, create a new post and upload a file and attach it to that, um, that parse record in the database. So how do we display the image in a post, right, in the page? Well, uh, right now, some of my posts have an image and some of them don't. Okay, so these three have pictures, but the rest of them don't. Um, this is maybe not obvious to solve, so I'm going to go over this in a little bit of detail because this is something that could, you know, people, this is the kind of problem I could see people running into and having, um, having some trouble solving it, um, though it's not, it's not difficult. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go into my, to my site. I'll find my script tag. And what I want is I want to find the get posts method. So here is where we're loading, you know, posts out of our parse database. And now these posts include a new field called file. And that file field, you know, has an image in it. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to console log this first. So I'll say console log results item i dot get file. Okay. So uh, so let's um, go back to our site now. Um, so I save my file. I'll refresh it here, and then when I load the page. What you'll see is you'll see three files because I have three items here that have a file and then the rest of these are all undefined. So if you look carefully here, I've got three objects. And these are JavaScript objects, you know, something.file and then they have all these other properties inside them, right? It's a pretty complicated little JavaScript object to represent the file, right? Hmm, wow, look at all that stuff, right? And then, you know, carefully, if you notice, at the top here, I've got 22 undefined. So in other words, you know, when I load the page, I loaded 22 items, and it console logged, you know, I loaded 25 items, actually, and then I, 22 times, it console logged an undefined instead of an object. And for the three records that actually had a file attached to them, then it actually up you know, displays the, the, the file object from parse, okay? And that's what I have here, right? I got three of these with a file and then 22 of them that are undefined. And, you know, I could add a file to this one. You know, let's say, uh, get this guy here. And now that one's got a file. And then if I go back here and refresh, you can see it says 21 times they're undefined, and then I've got four files, okay? So the problem here is that if we don't have a file, we're going to have a problem because we're going to try and call a method on the file object to get the URL, but if we try and call a method on undefined, then we get a JavaScript error, and it'll crash our, our program in the browser, right? Okay, so, uh, so what are we going to do here? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say if um, uh, results dot, or no, bracket i, right? So that's item i, just like we're getting, you know, results i bracket, you know, get title, right? We're going to say results bracket i dot get file. And if that's not undefined, then we can display the file. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say um, uh, var, and we could we could shorten this. I'll just write it out in a few lines here, but I'll say file, and then I'll say file is results i dot get file right like that. So now we've got the file object, and then. We can't really display the file object directly in the page because what we need is we need an image tag down here and we need to put the URL of the file into the source attribute. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put URL here equals 
file dot URL okay and then uh, you know we'll console log that for testing purposes right and then we'll say you know how about URL is you know oops, URL like that right just so we can see it so let's give that a try oh okay so wait a minute let me refresh this right oh yeah there we go right so I got 21 undefines there's my file object and then the URL is here right it says URL colon and then you know this is the address on parse like where the image is located right and so you can see the name is you know it's pretty complicated but parse does this to make sure that you don't um, that you don't overwrite another file and then it must have some other characters in here to associate this file with our parse account and this particular project right let's uh, let's get rid of this console log statement here with the object right and then we'll just see the URLs we'll do that one more time oh yeah so there's just our URLs okay so um, you know this is not super convenient here it's not too bad but you know if we don't have an image then maybe we don't want to include the image tag here though you could include an image tag with a default file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another variable here I think called image like this and then I'll just put my image tag here and then the image tag requires a you know a, a source attribute with a um, you know quotation marks here and then we need to put the URL you know inside like this right but since this is a variable we have to use the uh, quotation marks to close the string and open the string again and then two plus signs and we need to put the variable in between right so we need to write this in this way and then you know if if we have the image here then we want to write the image into our page right so why don't we do this maybe right in the middle here we'll say um, actually let me let me do it this way let me, let's let's actually do it like this let's say else right no, wait, wait, actually, what am I doing? Let's let's change that. Let's make it even easier. Let's do it like this. Maybe I'll just say var image up here equals that, and then we'll have to remove the var here. So we'll just declare image first as an empty string. And then if we have a file, you know, with you know, we'll get the URL and we'll put it into this image thing in place of the empty string. And then, you know, we've got the whole image tag here. And then we can either write the empty string or write the image tag into, into the block down here. And then if you want to do an alternate image tag, you could put it in here, you know, like this, right? So, you know what I mean? And you could put the source to some alternate file if you liked. And then if you don't want the image in there as a default, you know, or for a placeholder for, you know, if, in case there isn't an image coming from parse, then you can, you can just leave this as the empty string. How about that? I think that looks pretty good. So now down here, let's um, say output equals, right? And then actually, you know, we can just write the image property. I put the quotes there, but don't use the quotes. Let's just put the image tag down here. So if there's no image tag, it'll be empty and so there'll be nothing here and if there is an image tag with a URL for an image then we'll write that in this spot okay so let's save that and we'll give it a try <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back to my um, my app with parse here in the browser and then I'll refresh it so let's see oh look there's all my you know my posts that have an image they show the picture here um, I think I have four of those, right? And then the rest of these don't have one, but if I added one, then it would show up, okay? And if I wanted to upload another one, like I'll say, yay, images, right? Parse and images are fun, okay? And then I'll choose, you know, choose a file. I'll choose another file here, and then I'll upload it. 
And then I guess that worked. Let's see. Maybe it worked. Let me refresh it there. Oh, there it is, right? So it looks like it's kind of working. Um, maybe I forgot. Maybe I got to add it. I'll leave that for you guys to solve or I'll put it in the next video. But I think maybe we got to call get images again when we're done uploading the um, the files. I think I forgot to do that here, right? Because I got get posts here, right? But I'll need to have that. Actually, I'll just do it now, right? But, you know, um, here if I... <clears throat> you know, if I have a file element and then I do new file save, then, you know, we're going to set the, f the file and save the new post on a success we need to call get posts, right? Okay, so let's save that and then we'll, we'll be done with this video and I hope that helps you. Okay, I hope you can do something interesting with that. Thanks for watching.